Have you ever sat in your doctor's waiting room thinking about everything else you could be doing? For example, you could be exercising, you could be working, or you could be with loved ones. The amount of time that patients spend seeking health care for themselves or for a loved one can be a major burden, taking time away from other more productive or more enjoyable activities. We can measure this time burden in minutes, and we can then translate this time burden into opportunity costs. Opportunity costs are the monetary value of time spent on an activity. In this way, the time you spend traveling to or waiting at the doctor's office can translate to a monetary value. In two studies, we measured the total time that patients spend on outpatient visits, including time traveling, time waiting, and time with the physician. In one study, we translated this total time into opportunity costs. In a second study, we examined differences in time burden by patients' race, ethnicity, and socioeconomic status. Using the American Time Use Survey, we studied the time of nearly 4,000 people seeking medical care. 2,889 of these people were seeking medical care for themselves, 530 were seeking medical care for another adult, and 607 were seeking medical care for a child. We found that the average total visit time was 121 minutes, including 37 minutes traveling and 84 minutes in the clinic. Out of this clinic time, only 20 minutes were spent with the physician, with the remaining hours spent with non-physician staff, paying medical bills, completing forms, or just waiting. When we translated this time into opportunity costs, we found that the total opportunity cost for the 121 minutes that adults spend in an ambulatory visit was equal to $43. So what does this mean? Out-of-pocket costs often weigh on patients who need medical care. We found that opportunity costs at $43 per visit actually exceeded out-of-pocket costs, which averaged $32 per visit during the same time period. Applying this opportunity cost to the total number of doctor's visits in 2010, we found that the total annual societal opportunity cost was $52 billion. To get an estimate of how this impacts worker productivity, we also determine time burden and opportunity costs for employed individuals. We estimate that employed adults spent 1.1 billion hours of time and $25 billion in opportunity costs annually seeking medical care, which is equivalent to the total annual hours worked by the employed adult population of Dallas. In our second study, we found that patients' time with their physician was similar across racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups but that the total time burden was about 25% longer for racial and ethnic minorities and for the unemployed. Overall, we found that opportunity costs are substantial for patients and for society, and that time burden falls disproportionately on disadvantaged populations. So how do we fix this? First, we must improve efficiency in physician clinical settings. More than 80% of a patient's total time seeking care is outside of face-to-face -face contact with a physician. Patient wait time could be improved through improving clinic processes to streamline visits and optimize scheduling. Second, use of non-face-to-face -face care can also reduce time burden and opportunity costs. Non-face-to-face -face care could include delivery of health care through video conferencing, computerized visits, or other electronic communication. Accounting for patient opportunity cost is important for examining the efficiency of the U.S. healthcare system. Focusing on patient opportunity costs and time burden is an important way to understand the value of innovations to improve the efficiency and patient-centeredness of healthcare delivery.